Hello Virgo, today we're going to be doing your urgent messages from spirit as well as a few urgent messages from the person on your mind or the person that has you on their mind. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, I do appreciate that. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into spirit's messages for you first. Alright Virgo, urgent messages from spirit, let's get five of them things. Five urgent messages from spirit for Virgo. We have the High Priestess Reverse. Nine of Wands. Tower Reverse. World Reverse. And the Nine of Swords. Whoa, 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 Virgo. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Okay, so I feel like you are probably, you know, the Hermit didn't come out, but he may as well have with this Nine of Wands right here and the rest of this energy. Um, this reverse major arcana is just like screaming at me. Tower, the High Priestess, and the World Reverse. You're feeling like, um,. You're feeling like, why? Like, why? It's almost like you are looking at yourself and kind of upset with yourself about something, like how you handled something, how you went about something. It's almost like you are not wanting to accept some type of ending or you haven't gained closure from some type of situation. Okay, so it's creating this anxiety from, for you. It's like, damn... I'm not beefing or I'm not mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm not into it with this situation or this person or whoever. However, there hasn't been any closure, okay? So there's still this energy of feeling like nothing's been said about it. So it's like uh, the Knight of Wands talks about us kind of feeling like um, the last one standing. Like there was this long battle and we won. Like we made it all the way to the end. Okay, but then the nine of swords is here. So both of these nines, it's like this completion type of energy. Like we've done all that we can do. It's almost feeling like there's no more passion left. There's nothing left to give to the situation. Because after the nine of wands, we step into the ten of wands. And so it's like accomplishment done. Okay, we've completed this. All right, but then the nine of swords is like, I feel that there's nothing more to say. And that's why I feel anxious about this. Because I personally... I don't know what to say, but it, it just seems like this isn't over yet. And so I, I've been still just to avoid conflict with the Tower Reverse. So it's like you're avoiding this um, tough conversation or this tough, like, you know, circumstance by kind of just like leaving shit a little iffy. Like, well, I really don't know where we stand with the shit, but at least me not fighting. Okay, so it's that type of energy going on here, and I feel that Spirit is kind of calling you out, Virgo, like, hey, I see you, I see you, you could have something great, because over here to the side, um, the card, uh, the sixth card, is the sun, okay, so this is the only major arcana that would have been um, in the upright here, though it wasn't a part of this, is still, like, calling to me that this is a possibility, but it's always going to be that maybe, that's probably why it didn't come out with this reading because it's, it's going to be that maybe energy because you're not sure if you could say or do anything to, you know what I'm saying, create this happiness or create this good energy like between this you and this situation or you and this person or entity. Okay, so it's like maybe I should, but maybe I should just leave it how it is. Maybe I'm avoiding um, conflict by not bothering it and just allowing us to stay in our separate spaces right now. Okay, so it's kind of like you're willing to play it safe and just be cordial in order to keep things afloat, keep things balanced. But I feel that the high priestess keeps poking at you like, uh-uh, you know that that shit isn't going to work for too long. It's probably working right now, but... The world is reversed because it's not going to last, okay? And so eventually you're going to want to gain more than what you currently have, which is just being cordial, okay? Let's get some messages from the person on your mind or the person that has you on their mind, Virgo. All I want is you. Could be dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, but someone is definitely looking at you like you are 
it, Virgo. You are all they want. There's no one else. They ain't thinking about nobody else. Like, all they want is you. But you're probably looking at them like, mm-mm. They ain't thinking like that. I don't know. The last time we talked, it wasn't like that. But they're like, all I want is you. Okay, look. We can't even take pics creeping. Okay, somebody is feeling a bit left out. It could be dealing with the water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they're feeling like they can't even uh, spend time with you. They can't show and prove that you guys have anything going because um, it seems very sneaky or low-key, like, you know, dishonest. Um, then we have... All I wanted was your trust. So someone is definitely feeling like you didn't give them the chance. You didn't give them the benefit of the doubt. And you kind of just took shit for what it was. Again, probably playing it safe. And they're like, hey, I'm willing to have a tough conversation if you are Virgo. But you probably not. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one, Virgo.